and the readings will now be given by Elizabeth from Georgia. The Bible, 2 Timothy. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Proverbs. A wise man will hear, and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Ecclesiastes. My son, be admonished. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. John. Jesus said, It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Matthew Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Luke Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay, nor resist. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things, that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. 
Romans. Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad, unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Second Timothy Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. I will read correlative passages from Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures and Prose Work by Mary Baker Eddy. Spirit imparts the understanding which uplifts consciousness and leads into all truth. This understanding is not intellectual, is not the result of scholarly attainment. It is the reality of all things brought to light. Whatever cometh not from the eternal spirit has its origin in the physical senses and material brain, called human intellect and willpower, alias intelligent matter. Every law of matter or the body supposed to govern man is rendered null and void by the law of life God. Ignorant of our God-given rights, we submit to unjust decrees, and the bias of education enforces this slavery. School examinations are one-sided. It is not so much academic education as a moral and spiritual culture which lifts one higher. The pure and uplifting thoughts of the teacher, constantly imparted to pupils, will reach higher than the heavens of astronomy, while the debased and unscrupulous mind though adorned with gems of scholarly attainment, will degrade the characters it should inform and elevate. Our master taught no mere theory, doctrine, or belief. It was the divine principle of all real being which he taught and practiced. His proof of Christianity was no form or system of religion and worship, but Christian science working out the harmony of life and love. Whatever furnishes the semblance of an idea governed by its principle furnishes food for thought. Through astronomy, natural history, chemistry, music, Mathematics, thought passes naturally from effect back to cause. Academics of the right sort are requisite. Observation, invention, study, and original thought are expansive and should promote the growth of mortal mind out of itself, out of all that is mortal. It is the tangled barbarisms of learning which we deplore, the mere dogma, the speculative theory, the nauseous fiction. In its literary expression, my system of Christian metaphysics is hampered by material terms, which must be used to indicate thought that are to be understood metaphysically. 
as a science. This system is held back by the common ignorance of what it is and what it does. And worse still, by those who come falsely in its name. To be appreciated, science must be understood and conscientiously introduced. If the Bible and science and health had the place in schools of learning that physiology occupies, they would revolutionize and reform the world through the power of Christ. It is true that it requires more study to understand and demonstrate what these works teach than to learn theology, physiology, or physics, because they teach divine science with fixed principle, given rule, and unmistakable proof. Revelation shows this principle and will rescue reason from the thrall of error. Revelation must subdue the sophistry of intellect and spiritualize consciousness with the dictum and demonstration of truth and love. Although this volume contains the complete science of mind healing, Never believe that you can absorb the whole meaning of the science by a simple perusal of this book. The book needs to be studied, and the demonstration of the rules of scientific healing will plant you firmly on the spiritual groundwork of Christian science. This proof lifts you high above the perishing fossils of theories already antiquated and enables you to grasp the spiritual facts of being, hitherto unattained and seemingly dim. How true it is that whatever is learned through material sense must be lost, because such so-called knowledge is reversed by the spiritual facts of being in science. That which material sense calls intangible is found to be substance. What to material sense seems substance becomes nothingness as the sense dream vanishes and reality appears. The refutation of the testimony of material sense is not a difficult task in view of the conceited falsity of this testimony. The refutation becomes arduous, not because the testimony of sin or disease is true, but solely on account of the tenacity of belief in its truth, due to the force of education and the overwhelming weight of opinions on the wrong side, all teaching that the body suffers as if matter could have sensation. Keep yourselves busy with divine love. Then you will be toilers like the bee, always distributing sweet things, which, if bitter to scent, will be salutary as soul. But you will not be like the spider, which weaves webs that ensnare. Rest assured that the good you do unto others, you do to yourselves as well and the wrong you may commit must, will, rebound upon you. The entire purpose of true education is to make one not only know the truth but live it, to make one enjoy doing right, make one not work in the sunshine and run away in the storm, but work midst clouds of wrong, injustice, envy, hate, and wait on God, the strong deliverer, who will reward righteousness and punish iniquity. As thy days, so shall thy strength be.